Let's turn things over to Leanne, who was also in sunny Smith Falls. I am indeed. Thank you so much for that, Jeff. And a lot of people can be here as well, getting a real insight into so many of the buildings and the businesses here with Doors Open Smith Falls. Uh, that's happening on June the 3rd. It, about 11 years ago is when the province launched this program, and they've been on board ever since. Joining us is Lynn Clifford Ward, the Municipal Cultural Planner. Great to have you on the show. Terrific. I'm so pleased to be here and talk about Doors Open. Thank and you. You're very passionate about it, which is wonderful to see because you think it's, what a wonderful experience this is for people to, to be able to see what happens here. It, it really is. It's a great opportunity to celebrate civic pride and our heritage, to build relationships and, and partnerships throughout our community, uh, to contribute to our local tourism, to just welcome everybody to Smith Falls in a grand, grand way. There's uh, how many establishments? Because you've definitely seen this grow in terms of the people that are getting involved here. Well, across Ontario, uh, in its first year, they had had 17 communities involved, and this year, the Grand Slam, 57 communities wow. are involved, and we're one of them. Uh, a lot will be open. What can people expect with the, the types of things that they would see here? Well, they they will be uh, enabled to visit places that perhaps they've never been into before, um, places, places of worship, St. John Evangelist, the Westminster United, um, excuse me, Westminster Presbyterian, Trinity United, um, the museums, the Railway Museum of Eastern Ontario, which is a fabulous place, Heritage House Museum, we'll be having baking and all sorts of activities happening there. Um, we have the Gallipo Centre uh, featured as well, which has the Larry Hart Laundry Service. Yeah, can, let me ask you yeah. about that. I mean, we're seeing tons of pictures right now coming through, so people will, will get, the, get the chance. But this is really something very interesting. It is, and it's it's very exciting for the community. Um, I Just about a year ago, the Gallipo family purchased the, the uh, centre, the Reg, Reg, Rideau Regional Centre, and they are redeveloping it and it has so much potential in the community. And so during doors open, we have the auditorium and the gymnasium open and Larry Hart laundry service available, which is just an amazing place to experience. Well, you were saying it does everything for the hospitals. Yes, but the local what's the hospitals, capacity? Five million pounds a year of laundry can be uh, done at this place, yeah. <laughs> and here I am complaining every night when I'm kind of throwing in a load. That's, uh, so, I know, it defies it, comprehension. So this is one of the, the many things, this is something that you're really proud of, but you love the fact that it's open. A lot of people might think that there's a cost to it, that they need to buy tickets, and that's not the case. That is not the case. Everything is free for you to experience, and this also includes the entertainment that we will have during the day. And let me tell you, we've got a great lineup. Um, we have engaged our local youth from Smith Falls uh, District Collegiate Institute, and the Glee Club will be performing two 40-minute performances oh, at wow. the, the Station Theatre, our jewel here in, in Smith Falls. Fabulous. Uh, we have the Youth Jazz Club uh, performing as well at Trinity United and over at Westminster we'll have the Oregon and Carillon performing. So you have a ton, a ton of things on the go. The best way to do it is to uh, check out for more information, www.smithsfalls.ca slash the doors open uh, Smith Falls. So you can get all the information there. Great. Good luck with the big day. Oh, thank you so much. It's been a real pleasure to share that with you. It's wonderful to be here. Sarah Freemark had an opportunity to check things out prior to us arriving and we're going to check in with Sarah right now.